And welcome back. Your home Wi-Fi network could be vulnerable to hackers. You know, what a nightmare, right? Fox 13 tech reporter Jordan Hogan explains how you can take some simple steps and make it more secure. Be honest, have you changed your Wi-Fi password recently? Or when you got your Wi-Fi router, did you just set it up in a few easy steps and never review the information? If you answered no and then yes, you could be at risk of having your home Wi-Fi network taken advantage of. Luckily, there are a few things you can do to make it more secure. The first step is making sure you have the best encryption turned on, which is called WPA2. You need to make sure it's there. You need to make sure that that is enabled, especially if you have a device that might be a couple years old. Chris Rosenrod is the head of security, privacy and trust at Google Fiber. He said most companies that make Wi-Fi routers have instructions in the box or online to help you change these important settings. Another thing you can do is change the wireless network ID as well as the password. You'll also want to change the username and password used to log in to your Wi-Fi router settings. More home routers and Wi-Fi devices enable you to set up multiple SSIDs, including one that would essentially only allow your devices to talk to the, the cloud. This process Rosenrod just mentioned is called separation. It lets you put your smart home devices on a separate network from your main one, making them less accessible to hackers. The advantage of that is if something goes wrong with one of those uh, IoT devices, to use the vernacular, if it gets owned, then you don't have to worry about that then being a backdoor into the network with everything else. Most Wi-Fi routers also have the ability to only allow devices with approved MAC addresses to use them. A MAC address is a unique identifier that every network device has. While this is an extreme measure, it prevents devices from joining your Wi-Fi network if their MAC addresses aren't added to the approved list. The downside is that you then have to go and get the MAC address for every single device on your network. And when you get rid of a device, you need to remember to remove the MAC address associated with it. Otherwise, someone could use it to access your Wi-Fi network. The greatest point that I want to convey is that as with anything home maintenance related, you're going to want to make sure that you update these things and check on them. This means changing these settings every six months or so and making sure the firmware is updated on your Wi-Fi router. In Salt Lake City, Jordan Hogan, Fox 13 News, Utah.